experiment time. Today I'm going to bake three breads with different initial baking temperatures, and we'll see what difference it makes in oven spring, crust, and crumb for the same dough. This is hot stuff. Hi, I'm Sune, and I'm a food geek. Today I'm baking three different sourdough breads with a different initial baking temperature. Conventional wisdom tells us that we need to bake really hot, around 260 degrees Celsius, about 500 degrees Fahrenheit, to get proper oven spring. But do we really? The first bread I will be baking at 300 C, 572 F, which is as high as my oven will go. Then one at 260 C, 500 F, which is how I normally bake. And the last bread will be baked at 230 C, uh, 450 F. I'm not really sure what to expect, but I've been advising people to bake hot to get good oven spring, so we'll see if I need to change my recommendation. If you're new to this channel, I bake a lot of sourdough bread and I make delicious food from all over the world. My goal is to show you how to get the most out of every ingredient, and I want to teach you how to do that in simple and understandable steps. So join me by subscribing and ringing the bell so you won't miss any future videos. The dough that I'm making today uh, is my go-to bread. Uh, it has 80% bread flour from Kornbrühe Mühle, which is called number one, which is the most sifted kind. 20% uh, rye flour, number three from Kornbrühe Mühle, which is a very coarse flour. So I put that through my mock mill to make it a very fine flour. So the uh, resulting loaf is, uh, doesn't seem very coarse, but still has that delicious rye flavor. The hydration is 80% and the inoculation is 20%. If you'd like to support the channel, please buy some merch or use the links in the description for tools and ingredients. Those are affiliate links, so if you buy something, I will be getting a percentage of the sale. Those were the words. This is the experiment. The formula that I'm using is linked in the card above. I'm totally skipping all the standards and just mixing the dough, including everything. Flour, salt, starter, and water. I keep mixing until everything has been thoroughly combined. Then I let the dough rest for 30 minutes, uh, sort of an auto lease. Then I proceed to do the first set of stretch and folds. Then the second set of stretch and folds. And the third set of stretch and folds. Then I do a window pane which shows that the dough isn't strong enough yet. So it goes back into waiting for another 30 minutes. Then I do the fourth set of stretch and folds. The 
dough is now strong enough, so I put it in the bulking container and put it in my proofer, set to 30 degrees Celsius, 86 degrees Fahrenheit. Then the dough grows about 25% and it gets pre-shaped and shaped. For some mysterious reason, the footage of this disappeared, uh, but as it's not relevant for the actual experiment, we'll jump straight to the baking. First, I put rice flour on the bottom of the dough to make it slide easily off my peel as I put it into the oven. Then I put the dough onto the peel. Score it. And I put it into the oven set to 230 degrees Celsius 450 degrees Fahrenheit. And here it comes out of the oven. The second bread. into the oven, set to 260 degrees Celsius, 500 degrees Fahrenheit. And here that comes. Then the third bread. Into the oven, set to 300 degrees Celsius, 572 degrees Fahrenheit. And here's that one. I let them cool until they're room temperature and then I cut into them to see what they have to offer. First, the low temperature bread. Gorgeous color and nice oven spring. And look at that crumb. Then the control, a little wonky looking, but that's due to my shaping. The color is like the previous bread and great oven spring. The crumb is looking wonderful in this bread as well. Then the hot as hell bread. That's pretty well caramelized, bordering on burnt. And the bottom is scorched. Oh well, let's have a look at the crumb. Well, no problems there. Onto the sniff and taste test. There's really no discernible difference in smell unless you count the burnt part at the bottom. Let's taste them. Hmm, they're all good. Since they're made from the same flour, they all taste exactly the same. Again, as long as you don't eat the burnt part. Well, that was a bit surprising. The two brats uh, baked at 260C, 500F, and 230C, 450F looked very similar. 
both of the oven spring, the crust and the crumb. Obviously baking at 300C 572F was not the best idea. I've never had a scorched bottom before, uh, but that was the result when baking that hot. Also, the crust was very brown. That may not be a problem, but even the rice flour had browned, which is usually not what happens. The crumb was fine though. So um, my conclusion is that baking at 230 degrees Celsius, 450 degrees Fahrenheit is perfectly viable and will largely give you the same results as the higher temperature. So even if your oven doesn't go as high, it doesn't need to be a blocker for baking delicious, crunchy sourdough bread. I hope you learned something today. See you next time.